Incredibles 2, Babysitting Mode. Fashion designer Edna Mode wasn't thrilled when Bob Parr, better known as Mr. Incredible, asked her to babysit his son Jack-Jack. Edna simply wasn't good with babies. But Jack-Jack was no ordinary baby. As soon as his dad left, Jack-Jack began to float. Edna was delighted, and she wondered what else he could do. Edna knew that each super was unique, but there was something extra special about little Jack-Jack. She wanted to observe him and take notes for his next super suit design. Where was her sketchbook? There was no time to find it. Jack-Jack was on the move. Edna was thrilled to see Jack-Jack walk right through a wall. The little boy couldn't be stopped. He continued to phase in and out of the walls as he floated down the hallway. Suddenly, Jack-Jack disappeared. Where in the world can that little boy be? Edna wondered as she searched. I simply must put a tracking device in his next super suit. Finally, Edna found Jack-Jack downstairs near her lab. The super baby smiled and pointed at his new discovery. Flashing lights on a wall. Jack-Jack had found the security system for Edna's testing room. The alarm began to beep. In the blink of an eye, Jack-Jack morphed into a pint-sized Edna. The alarm stopped. Edna marveled at the miniature version of herself. She had never seen anything so extraordinary. Inside, little Jack-Jack discovered some of the super suits Edna had designed. He couldn't wait to get his hands on the colorful costumes. Jack-Jack tried on bits and pieces of many different costumes. He even fashioned a cape for himself. But Edna shared her one and only design rule. Jack-Jack loved the cape he had created and didn't want to take it off. He got so angry that he turned into a little monster. Edna didn't panic. She was used to working with supers of all kinds. Edna knew it was time for Jack-Jack's bottle. But how would she calm him down long enough to feed him? She wondered if music would help Jack-Jack change back into a baby. Edna played Beethoven for the little monster. It worked! He transformed back into an adorable baby. But suddenly, one Jack-Jack multiplied into two. Three, four, five Jack-Jacks! There was no way Edna could feed five hungry Jack-Jacks with just one bottle. Edna switched the music to Mozart. Success! All the Jack-Jacks merged into one baby. He began to giggle as he watched his bottle heat up on the stove. And then... Whoosh! Jack-Jack burst into flames! Edna remained calm. She had seen it all. After putting out Jack-Jack's flames, Edna finally spotted her sketchbook. But it was hard to design a super suit for Jack-Jack when he kept destroying her pencils with his laser beam eyes. She tried to keep him busy with his bottle. Later that evening, Edna told Jack-Jack a story about the adventures of his family, the Incredibles, and the heroic little boy who, of course, used his amazing powers to save the day. With a full belly and a smile on his face, Jack-Jack drifted off to sleep.